Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends to Painting with Master Temple. What we've got in front of us is a big canvas. This is an 18 by 24 inch uh, double prime canvas. I've actually triple primed this one because I've coated this one in a thin layer of black acrylic primer and allowed that to dry completely overnight if you can. And then once that's dried, we've mounted it on the easel. And what we've done up here, we've taken a thin layer of um, liquid clear, a clear oil-based medium, coated it completely, wiped off the excess with a good quality paper towel or a rag or something like that. And then in places, we've coated it in a transparent color. So in here, we've got Indian yellow, then we're going to a crimsons, then the blues. And down here, we've got the same. So we've got crimsons and blues, but right now on this edge, we've got some, some blacks and browns. They're not true um, transparent colours, you may be able to pick up some of those colours, but they look dark enough for what we need for this sort of method. I thought we'd do a nice big crashing waterfall, nice golden sunset, something like that. I don't know how it's going to pan out. I did something very similar last year on the Treasures channel, so I thought we'd give it a little bit of a go in this format on this channel, just for you guys. Right, so I'm going to pick up a one inch paintbrush, see how, how quick this will be. Maybe too slow on this size canvas and I want to get, get done on this because it's quite cold today. So, so up here, so just slightly above horizon and to the, uh, the right white paint and I'm just going to hit and I'm going to slowly whoosh in some, some colour, side to side strokes working outwards and it'll pick up you can see now already it's picking up that indian yellow such a gorgeous yellow i think they make that it's not a very nice way about the make i think they dry the urine from a yak or an indian uh, cow or something like that i think i think that's right and uh, once the urine's dried which is bright yellow i think it's been fed on mangoes as well once that's dried that's the pigment they use that are mixed with the uh, the, uh, the drying oil, usually linseed oil, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I usually am. I usually am wrong. Okay, so just around, just like that. Okay, let's wipe the brush. Okay, and then a bit more white paint. And then up here again. Just wherever we think the underlying clouds would live. Okay, just like that. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? I thought with a canvas like this, we may need to use a bigger brush, but that wasn't bad. What I'm gonna do, set that brush down, I'm gonna take a big, clean, dry, two inch brush, and I'm gonna go down about there and just start blending out. Just start blending all these colors together. Now you don't want the blues to come back into the yellows or oh, we'll get a beautiful green sky and that is what we're after sometimes but not today we want that bright yellow to remain bright and yellow and then up here just bring it all together like that okay just blend all those together and then lightly go across the whole thing just gently just gently now i'm going to wash this brush odorless paint thinner find out where i put the paint cleaning can. okay and then again we're going to go and repeat the process okay so just a bit more white paint where the bright spot's going to be out there now white titanium white is a very opaque color very opaque and that will cover a multitude of sins trust me okay and we'll just blend that all the way out and you can see some of these little swirls of, of white paint that's all right they're like the under undersides of clouds right get a disc different brush that's drier and cleaner cleaner should be the word okay we can start by bringing that all together just 
take it out just like that. Get lots of lovely, vibrant colours on these black canvases. We really do. A bit there, and then just slowly go across like that. There we go. So now we've got a nice little, little bit of a nice little sky. There we go. Right, I'm just going to blend this a bit more down here. And there we've got it. Right, so now we've got a nice little golden -y sunset -y thing. Now, sunset -y thing, uh, that word. I'm going to take a little bit of white paint on my finger and I'm just going to push that in there like that. That could be a, a moon or a sun, maybe a sun on that. Right, and then all we're going to do, just scrape it off. Scrape off the excess, wipe that on, and then back to our brush, and then just tickle that across like that. And that will give a very faint indication of a sun. Just there, like so. Now what's fun, what's fun is if we put a couple of really dark clouds in that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fan brush, and I'm going to take, forgive me if I'm out of shot, a little bit of purple and a little bit of black. Just mix them on the brush. Okay, and we can come up here. Because we've got the purples and the blacks. That sort of light. Give you another variant of colour something else that's going on in the sky just there like that and then let's go on to the other side so again another bit of colour forgive the arm just there like so okay so we've got different kinds of clouds going on already and we haven't really done anything it's nice and easy peasy easy easy peasy Okay, then we can go across all of that. So I'm gonna just twirl the base of these just like that. Just set them into the canvas and then just gently fluff and then lightly go across. And then same on these. Gently, 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 gently. Fluff up and then lightly go across just like that okay so there we've got it nice little sky nice little clouds nice little everything okay right I'm gonna put the painting up that I did last year while I'm doing that I'm just gonna step back and see if it looks all right and I think it could do with another cloud it could do I think and that's what you have to do sometimes take a step back it's a bit hard I'm, I'm, I'm practically sideways on to the to the canvas so I'm just going to put another one up here and just feather that out just black paint a little bit of the Liz and Crimson there like that okay again go back to the two inch brush and let's swirl all this together just hit the underside just the underside is needed and then just lift up gently across there that wasn't too hard was it okay I'm just gonna wash this brush because I'm gonna go into some white paint very soon so odorless paint thinner beat it against the easel and then if you want to completely dry it go across some some paper towels good quality paper towel is what I uh, is what I suggest you use as well Okay, right, palette knife. I'm gonna take some black. I'm gonna take some crimson, okay. And I'm just gonna, if you can, <laughs> I'm laughing because I can hear my daughter in the house way over there shouting. She's pretending to be somebody off the telly. Okay, so I could put some little more stringy clouds 
This is just black and crimson. Just like that. More crimson than black. Come across there as well. How moody does this look already? Now you can you can take this and use this sort of sky for a seascape. Really dark nighttime seascape. It's, uh, it, it just looks the part, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to take another little brush and I'm just going to just gently just tease this. This is this pony hair brush that I like. I think it's pony hair. It's like a makeup brush, really. And just set that into the painting. So there we have it. Beautiful sky, gorgeous sky, gorgeous sky. Seems to have lost a hair there. Okay, right, let's work on some background material. All right, so for that, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a rounded brush. Where are you? And I'm going to go into Van Dyke Brown. So again, these are Bob Ross, mainly Bob Ross paintbrushes, not always, but most of them are. Okay, and I'm just going to pull the brush in one direction and then where we've got most of the paint I put that to the top and I'm going to hit over here just like this. We'll have some background trees. Of course these will be all silhouetted by the, by the bright sun. Yeah? Okay. Go into a bit more black as we're getting away from the sun. Just there, like that. Maybe that goes up there. I don't know. And there as well. Just like that. There we go. Maybe that goes up there. Who knows? Who knows? If your camera is vibrating a little bit, it's because the uh, the canvas is quite large. Okay. Right. What we'll do? Um, I'll Lay that down with a brush that has the white paint on. I'm just going to hit the base of this. So you see, you can see the, the white paint I'll just go across there, like so. Okay, and then just wipe some excess paint off. We could merge all these together, maybe a bit more. In fact, get a cleaner brush down. Come on, stop being tight. Okay, so I'm just going to blend all these together. So what I want is a misty area down at the base of these trees. So really get in there and really tap, really tap all these together. Just like that. This is a good workout for your arms, folks. Like beating on a drum. There, just like that. And then we could just bring that down. Okay, so we need something now to hold this up. So what we'll do, we'll take the palette knife again. We'll go into some of that colour. I've got the crimsons. We'll just pull out a big watercolour. Crimsons and browns, okay? And blacks. And then, let's say about here, we'll just have some dark material, some dark muddy material. Just like that. Okay, and then remember to go off the cameras, don't just stop there. Keep going till it goes off. Same on the other side. Put some on here as well. I have to reach right over there. <laughs> okay, now to that, I'm going to add some white paint. Okay. Don't over mix the paint. Don't over mix it. You want to leave it quite marbled. If you ever look at sludge and mud, <laughs> I'm not saying that you should do, but sometimes if you ever look at sludges and muds, you end up with um, a variety of colours. <laughs> you get it right. I, uh, us artists, we've got to be a bit crackers, haven't we? We have. So there we go. So very lightly. If you paint a mountain like you did with us last week, you'll know how delicate this touch is. And again, don't just stop at the edge of the canvas. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, a bit more on here. And 
don't worry that we look like we've got a straight line. We can come back, come back, and sort this line out now. Don't know. We're going to have some rocks and stuff down here, aren't we? So we're going to have a waterfall. We're going to have some rocks at some point. Okay, fan brush time. Where are you? Let's take this one. Number two. Okay, now I'm going to go into uh, some green. Okay. Uh, a tiny bit of the yellow. I'm just going to put some grasses on this. Okay, now the colours that we see here will push everything back. You can jump behind this little hill here, this, this, this bank, into the trees. There we go. The same over here. And we just want to distort all this edge a little bit. Just distort it. Get a bit more yellow. A bit more yellow. Oh, there we go. Really brighten that part up. And same there. That's where the sun's shining. Where the sun is shining. The sun is shining at some point. Not shining today. <laughs> it's unbelievably cold. But the summer is coming. The sun is coming. Okay, there we go. Right, now some of this I'm going to pull down. Just a touch. Just pull a bit down. So a little bit of the mud colour, a little bit of the green. Just pull that down. That. And let's get let's get the brush. We'll take this one and then reaffirm that all the way down and then across. In fact, I think we ought to go into the whites again. Really sparkle that off. So just there where the sunlight's gonna be, straight down, straight down there. there. And then work out, work outwards. Pull that down. I love waterfalls. Living in North Yorkshire, you see a lot of York, uh, a lot of waterfalls. Really are blessed up here. Really are blessed. And if you live near a waterfall, maybe you'll want to paint that. Maybe you'll want to paint that one day. Maybe you'll send me a photograph of it, and maybe I'll paint it for you. Hey, how about that? Okay, so there we go. So pull that straight down. Okay, I'm going to set that brush down because I don't want to take too much into the canvas. And there we go. Just lightly go across that. So there we go. Yeah, we've got instant reflections. Instant reflections. Right, let's get some liquid white paint. Put that there. Liquid white. I'm gonna put a touch of titanium white in that as well. Maybe just a touch of thalo blue, just to take the edge off it. I don't want it too bright. Now keep your knife parallel to the base of the canvas. If you've got it like that, you're gonna end up with a, a line that's going straight off, and we don't want that. So this is the brightest point. There. And if it's too bright. It's too bright, just keep keep rubbing it away. And eventually, eventually it'll mix with the dark colours that we put on as we prep the canvas. Go across there like so. All the way across. There. And then forgive me because I'm gonna go this way. Even if we're going round a little bit of a corner, keep the palette knife nice and flat. Keep it as parallel to the base of the canvas as you possibly can. There. Maybe one or two ripples out here where the old trout jumps out. Maybe that's a bit too much. See, so put a bit too much on there. All we need to do is either rub it away, we could zip it off. Looks alright. We've got some fast flowing water here. 
In fact, I might just change my mind. I might bring this down a little bit. Then it looks like it's going down the corner. Maybe, 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 I don't know. Maybe that's something for another painting. Right, so we're going to have a nice big waterfall. Now, I don't want it there, right? That's his focal point, number one. We don't want it there, so we're going to have it round about here, let's say. Maybe comes down there like that. Like so. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab some white paint. To that just a tiny bit of that thin blue paint that we had as well okay one inch paintbrush okay and then let's just let's just work on this so we're going across and then straight down across straight down you can see all those lovely purpley colors that it's picking up things to paint. In fact, let's have a little stone. I like stones in the middle of the waterfall. So a bit of black. Put a bit of black in there. Okay, mix that with some of that mud colour that we've got. We'll just put a little bit of an highlight there. A little bit of a stone that's living out there with a really nice looking view. Let's thin that down a bit more. Okay. Come across, it's falling over. Like Don't know how big this one's going to be. And same on the other side. So, again, so we'll come across down like that. And look, it's, it's grabbed a little bit of that dark color that we put on that black, and it's made like a shadow in the waterfall. Isn't that neat? You know how that happens. Across and down. And look at the colours that are coming alive. There we go, what a big waterfall that is. Okay, so let's take a dryer brush. Okay, and we can start feathering some of this back into the water. Same up here. Keep it pretty straight, squared, just like that. And just gently lift up, putting all this together. We'll put some foam and all sorts, some splashes down at the base, but you can see the blues and the magentas are in there as well. That's beautiful, that's beautiful already. I'm just gonna take that fan brush and just work that a little bit more. Now you can spend time doing all this. I have to be pretty quick because the shed gets quite uh, quite cold. There we go, just over like that. Yeah. Okay, let's work on some big stones. All right. So where's my big knife gone? All right. Let's move all this light out of the way. Even with a big palette, you can still run out of space. White. And we're gonna have brown. We're gonna have a bit of black. Mix. Make some stony colours in there. Let's have a bit of purple thrown in that. Why not? We've got purple in the sky. Let's have purple in the stone as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and just gently put in just there. Where these stones would be. Big old boulders, big old cliff faces. There. That's holding all this lot up. We'll put some greenery on top of this. Of course, with all this, with all this water flowing, there'd be a lot. There'd be a lot of mosses and, and, and things like that, won't there? There certainly would. Again, straight there, and then across, and then see all these colours just pop out of the knife. Just 
come straight alive. We don't know where these rocks live. There, like that. We need to mix up some more colour. So what did we have? Blacks, browns, crimsons. There we go. Again in there, like that. Down just so it's in the water, so we're going to get some reflections down here as well, just like that. Let's put some more on that side as well now. So, whenever the need to be, that's exactly where we will put one. There, like that. cliff faces, cliff faces. I'm going to make that a little bit more jaggedy. Needs to be a bit more jaggedy. Jaggedy. Word of the day, folks. Jaggedy. A bit more purple in that as well. There. Like so. There we go. Right. Wipe the knife off. Palette knife gets wiped off on a paper towel. Okay. The fan brush with some greens on there. All I'm going to do, take some white, sorry white, funny looking white, take some yellows. I'm going to mix in a tiny bit of that thin oil that we have, just to make this slide. Okay, and up here, this is where we'll have some, some ground. Foliage of sorts. I think we'll put a tree somewhere in there. Do like a good tree. Who doesn't? <laughs> Especially when you conquer picking. But I want to make some of these mossy, foony, leafy things look like they're, they're hanging over the corner uh, of, a, of, of a bank or, or something like that. So that they're hanging, they're hanging down. And you need to make this paint quite thin else it won't stick on top of this thick paint that we, we've added down here. So keep keep your paint nice and thin. In fact, I'm going to add a tiny bit. I can get some there. A tiny bit of liquid white as well. There, look at that. Just creeping down the side. It's nice to push it into the waterfall as well. A bit more on there like that. Found a little ledge for it to, to hang on to. Up there. Some there down at the bottom. We'll mist all this up some, so don't don't worry too much. Let's go on to the other side without uh, getting in the way of the camera. Add a bit more blue to that. Yellow, blue. There we go. Okay, so same up here. So I'm going to start off here. Box all that lot in. Again, you could do this with any kind of brush you wanted. Your preference, it's up to you completely and utterly up to you how you do this. You may not even want to do this. <laughs> you may just want to paint a nice little waterfall and say, I'm not having any greenery in it. Maybe it's maybe it's winter. Maybe it is winter. Get some more yellow. Yeah, like that. Wow. Really changed the flavour there, didn't we? Or maybe. Cross like that down and again over there so I'm pushing this back into the waterfall what would be good is if I just put a tiny touch there'll be a fern or two growing on top of this there like that 
if you didn't want a little bush or a fern or a thing like a little twig living out there you don't have to have that there just my preference that's my preference that's all okay down here let's just see a couple more of these off again keep the paint nice and thin so it can stick right on top of that there Woof woof, I can hear the dog barking, I hope it's not my dog. Yeah. Now I'm going to curve these ferns this way. This will push the eye into the centre of the painting. Same down here. There, yeah, like that. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, I like it when the plant comes together. Right, oh dear, making a mess. White paint, one inch paintbrush. I'm just going to hit the base of this. Just, just really get in there and zing some white paint into this. And again, we're going to have all kinds of things splashing and carrying on. And as you do, pull some blue paint down there and right across. Really get in there. More white paint. All kinds of mist and splashes. Something falling this far it really creates some some mist, isn't it? In fact, we don't. This could be just a tiny puddle. <laughs> we don't know how big it is yet, do we? Maybe, maybe we've got big trees there. That gives it some sort of scale. I like I like things that give it a bit of scale. Okay, there. Gently across down at the base. Just like that. Now go back to the knife. I'm just going to come in here and again back like we did up there. Waterline just down there, like so. Really cut in some. Happy days, eh? Happy days, happy days. Right, we said we're gonna paint a tree, so let's find something to paint a tree with. Okay, right, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some thin white paint. This is liquid white, and I'm gonna mix that with some burnt sienna. Okay, both sides. Let's get a bit more of that. Really thin this paint down. Burnt sienna, in fact, I'm gonna take a bit of Van Dyke as well. Okay, and then one side, I'm gonna pull through the Van Dyke brown. So I've got, in fact, let me mix up a little tiny pile of this. Let's get the knife. Thin paint, Van Dyke. You could use paint thinner for this, or you could use oil. Since we've got oil already on there, if I use paint thinner, it may separate, it may get a little bit distorted. And sometimes you want that sort of effect, but other times you don't. Okay, so load both sides full of the light colour, and then one side through the dark colour. And then we're going to come up here and then. Oh, we're just going to put it there, like that. And down there like that, that's where its root will be. And again, just a bit more darker down there. Like that. Maybe one on the other side, it's got a bit more dark paint. Okay, darken it off. Maybe a bit of black in this one. Different flavour of tree. Different flavour of tree. Okay, and we'll 
come up here again, just there, wherever you think he wants to live. Just there, like so. Yeah. Across and down, give him a big root. Keep him, keep him nice and stable. Oh, nice and stable. Put an arm on this one. There, a bit more black paint, I think. I think we're really dark at this side off. Maybe not that much. <laughs> There, there we go. Right, swill that brush off, and I think what we'll do is just put some dark darkness on. So again, I'm gonna go into the browns and the crimsons. Browns and crimsons with a rounded brush. I'm just gonna tap. Just the same colours as this. Just tap. See, we covered that arm, but it doesn't matter. We know it's there, don't we? And that cloud, we know it's there. We know we've made it. Right, switch the brushes around. So, I'm just going to switch them over. Same on this side. Just some dark paint, some browns. Blacks, crimsons, whatever we've got going spare. Just there like that. You can make these trees as tall as you want. I'm not very tall, that's why I'm not gonna make it go any higher. <laughs> we've got lots of paint on here now. Right, back to that paintbrush that's got the greens on there. Okay. Because I just want to neaten these up a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wipe the excess off this, off this air frown brush. I'm going to go into some paint thinner, no sorry, liquid clear, red and yellow. And if we get a bit of green in there, it doesn't really matter. Okay, maybe a bit of crimson, maybe a bit of purple as well. Okay, and then let's just see this sticks. If it doesn't stick, well you can't see it on telly. Don't know. So I'll just lighten that up a bit. So I'm going to get a bit of that made any difference. I think it has, hasn't it? Just like that. We don't want them too too bright or so it'll take it away from the, the focal point of the sun there, like so there, and then same on the other side now I've only painted two trees in this but if you want to be uh, <laughs> you don't want to be a rebel paint three I like to paint three but I'm getting quite cold my toes are going down Dear me, Dan. Dear me. Guys, what colour have we got here? Bit of everything. Let's get some more yellow in that. Not too much. And up here, just above. Like that. Turn around. Don't kill all the dark in your tree either. Is it? It's not bad down here. Like so. Outwards we come. There we go. And we just where we said we would, just a touch of that. There. Maybe there as well. A great fun painting this. I, I like it. 
go. Right, I think this one's ready for a signature. How does it look to you guys? How does it look to you? Let me know if you're going to have a go at this one as well. And also, while we're at it, please subscribe to the channel if you're not so already. If you're not done so already. And if you are, thank you. I do appreciate that. Um, if you want to send me a pic... Uh, <laughs> picture of anything you know the, the socials are down in the description I'll try and answer every single body that that leaves me a nice comment as well and please give me a nice big thumbs up as well it does help me out I do appreciate every single one of you right so how do you think we've done folks <laughs> sorry right, didn't it but until next time you take care of yourself stay safe and as always happy days